you guys and welcome back to another episode of Shiver Shelf. And today we'll be taking a look at the third book in Goosebumps, Monster Blood. And oh my god, first original cover of the whole series. Oh my goodness, this is going to be a special day. The difference between the original covers and the new covers is that the original covers actually have two phrases on them. One on the front and one in the back. Phrase on the front, it's a monster blood drive. <laughs> and the phrase on the back? Blood. Blood. Everywhere. People were slipping in it, and they were all grossed out. Now what's this story about? While staying with his weird great aunt Catherine, Evan visits a funky old toy store and buys a dusty can of monster blood. It's fun to play with at first, and Evan's dog Trigger likes it so much he eats some of it. But then Evan notices something weird about the green slimy stuff. It seems to be growing, and growing, and growing, and all that growing has given the monster blood a monstrous appetite. First thing to tackle is the cover. The cover of this one is actually really mysterious. Like all you see is just a set of stairs and this green stuff that just looks like maybe mucus, possibly blood from a monster or maybe some sort of animal. And you see a pair of glasses lying in it as if something was dragged away with whatever was leaving this trail behind. It's one of the most memorable Goosebumps covers because it just gives off that feeling of something just isn't right and it gives off that mystery of what could have left this stuff behind. Now, for the story. The pacing in this book is actually half and half. The first half of this story is incredibly slow. It's just Evan saying to his mom, like the first chapter, how he doesn't want to stay at his aunt's. It kind of sounds like, no, 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 I'm good. And he just keeps complaining and complaining and complaining about it. So that kind of makes the first half of this story just drag on. And then Evan meets this girl, Andy, and she ends up taking him to this toy shop where we end up coming across the monster blood. And that's where the pacing seems to pick up. It seems to go faster and it seems to be a more enjoyable story. Because we start seeing this monster blood is getting weirder and weirder with every passing day. The interactions between the characters is actually very, very limited. The only interactions we have are between Evan and Andy and it's actually pretty good for people who are just learning about each other. And there are a few things that I do see wrong with this story. For example, what kind of parent leaves their kid for two weeks, possibly even more, with a deaf family member? I mean, I'm pretty sure that deaf people can keep a good eye on kids. But say if, oh, I don't know, something bad happened, like, oh, they fell or broke their leg or something, and they were screaming. I mean, when you think about it, they aren't gonna hear them exactly. Though hey, I don't know, I don't have any deaf family members or friends, so I don't know what that situation's like. And Evan just always complains, he's just like, oh, this place is so boring, oh, my aunt is so weird and deaf and eh. And he's kind of an annoying character to be around. But then there's the ending to the story. And let me tell you, holy crap, this ending is just like, oh my gosh. Like, it's, it goes out there. It goes really far out there. They drop hints to it, but even then you're just like, no, that can't be the thing. Be that can't be the answer because that, that'd be just incredibly weird. But it's weird. It's about as weird as...
Okay, maybe not as weird as that, but you know what I mean. So, when it comes to Monster Blood, I'd probably have to give it maybe around a 6.5, maybe a 7. Yeah, I'd probably give it a solid 7. Just because of the concept of monster blood, which it's something that comes out of a monster, oh my god, that is amazing, because then the blood itself becomes a monster. Oh my goodness, yes. And just for that ending. Seriously, if you do not read any Goosebumps books, please read this, because this ending is just so out of place. It's amazing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Shiver Shelf, and I will see you next time. Bye.